Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're going to be doing Guardians Part 2. For this you need to be in Chapter 3, so you need to speak the Grant in the Valley of Mines. Uh, and if you start doing the first part of the Guardians in Chapter 3, it gets stuck. So you cannot really progress unless you unglitch it somehow. So let's get right into it. This is going to be the fourth Guardian. And we're here at Jack's Lighthouse. Uh, so we're going to go towards Nicholas the Hunter first. And then go towards the plateau where we found the wounded orc named Urkaras in chapter 1. And one of the wisps is going to be up there. So whenever you're seeing these wisps is where the guardians are going to be located. And... He will give us the fire ritual, which we need to do. And uh, this one is probably um, one of the most tedious ones because you have to be very careful how you jump into certain areas uh, for where we're going. So we're going to go to the excavations. And there's going to be a portal waiting for us here. As soon as you get to this little um, broken altar. Oh, hello. Didn't know I had snappers behind me. That, so this is the portal. It's a fire portal. And when you go in, a new screen starts loading. And also you can read this Stone Lecture of the Architects. And you're going to have to go through four different areas and defeat four different guardians of the fire. I was suppose you could say that. Uh... The easiest way to do this, if you have uh, a lot of health and uh, acrobatics, then use both. Um, for this, I'm going to skip, of course. I'm not going to talk the entire way. But make sure you don't get lost because some areas can be a little repetitive and you can get lost a little bit. All right, let's go. Here we are at the first altar, and what you do is just click on this little crystal that's on here, and one of the first guardians is gonna appear. The first one is a wolf, a fire spirit, and that's basically it. You need to do this four times, I think, if not five, I think it's four. We'll see. Let's go to the next one. Here is the second altar, and uh, I'm gonna click the crystal again. I think this time we get a, a fire lizard, which we also defeat quite easily because we are uh, quite overpowered at this point. I almost have 4000 HP, and we're just in chapter 3 at the beginning of it. I haven't done anything else so far in this uh, chapter. And I'm also carrying the Spear of the Undead from the Orc Mine. So that's kind of uh, interesting. Okay, so we've already been to that area and we've been to this area. We're going now back to the uh, main entrance, which was the, the portal. And uh, we're going to continue this way. Oh, 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 I should probably save. Because sometimes even mistakes like this can cost you um, your life. <laughs> That's why I said it's good to have a lot of health here because the fire damage is kind of fast if you're not careful. Okay, that's that's the main entrance. Now we have one split here. And one there. And I think that splits also into two. We're going to go th this way first. This is the third little altar. With the crystal on it. And I believe we're going to get the uh, shadow beast. Shadow beast spirit. That dies in two hits. 
Of course, I am playing on the easiest difficulty, on the easiest settings. Um, <clears throat> but I have tried Nightmare as well. Uh, I'm only doing this for the sake of the video, so you guys can see this as fast as you possibly can. But Nightmare is quite insane, honestly. It, like, you start with 10, 10 HP. And uh, you don't get any HP for leveling, like, at all. There you go, I'm already at half health again. Whew, man, that fire. Gets you down half HP in like two seconds. Or maybe less. 450 damage each time I am hit with the fire. Okay, we have two more apparently. I didn't calculate that there were four, five of them, but apparently there is five. I think there is a skeleton spirit, and the last one should be a fire golem spirit. Makes sense. In a way. Here we are at the uh, fourth altar. It doesn't matter which um, order you go in, by by the way. Uh, because they're gonna still spawn in the same order. But where you go, it doesn't matter. There you go. Another one down, and then the last one is a fire golem, which will be actually easier to kill than the skeleton, because skeleton can actually block. The fire golem cannot block your attacks. Here we are at the last, um, <clears throat> at the last altar, which is gonna spawn a fire golem, and here he is. He can kick you back though, and that's one thing you can only dodge instead of block. But it's as easy as that. And there's also a magic forge over here, in case you still want to forge something made out of magic ore, instead of normal iron ore. And once you're done with all five spirits, you have to go back, on foot, obviously, to the, uh, to the teleporter. The fire teleporter. So which way is the fire teleporter, right? Oh... I will tell you one thing though, acrobatics makes this challenge a lot easier, <clears throat> especially if you know how to use it. If you have the feeling for using it, not if you know how to use it. And we're back here at the teleporter, we're gonna go back to Corinna's and talk to... Uh, his name again, Kirion. <laughs> I'll have to check. So we're gonna go to the uh, market square because it's the closest to where he spawned. I have to go all the way up there and see how it does. Ooh. Speed Force, let's go! The Flash is coming your way! <laughs> Just a little bit of joking, of course. I have to. Here we are, with Kelios. And you get quite a bit of experience and fire protection at that. So the next uh, Guardian is going to be here near the uh, pass to the Valley of Mines, where Lester is standing. And you can already see the Wisp, uh, and Demos is going to spawn right here. It's going to ask us to get an artifact of Hades. And we're going to find in the Orc Cemetery. <clears throat> now for this, it doesn't matter if you've done the, uh, the Orc City quests or not. It does make it maybe a little easier if you think it's going to make a difference. But for me it doesn't because I am going to kill all of them anyway. So we're going to go to the fort in the Valley of Mines. 
and we're gonna go run down towards the orc cemetery where it used to be in Gothic 1. For those that don't know, uh, this has been re-added in the New Balance patch because, well, there's a lot of plot going on and behind the fence there's the Brotherhood um, old camp. The sect camp still lies, but it's cursed now. So, uh, I will be killing most, if not all, of the, uh, hello? Hmm. Most, if not all, of the orcs that are in the orc cemetery, which is in here. Let me just pop up my light so I can see better. Twice. There you go. And I'm just gonna probably use my bowl the entire way. It's also extra experience, of course. And this doesn't hurt if you kill them all. It won't hurt your uh, reputation with the orcs in the orc city. They will still uh, take your quests. There you go. And uh, the, sh the chief, Urtral, will still give you the... Uh, the Shadow Valley quests and the Orc Sleeper quests. Oh, hello. I might need better armor soon. <laughs> okay, we're going down here first just to clear the area. Nothing too special in here. another one because I cannot pick anything up even the switch is still here for those that remember gothic one where you find one of the most interesting stuff in here going with uh, what's his name core core something can't remember his name he has a weird name I believe we just have to kill all the orcs that are in here. And we should be get, able to get a rune that's gonna teleport us to a special location. Demonic orcs. Oh, this is a mini boss. Just funny, they're, they're not jumping down. 1200 uh, experience for just killing one of those guys. Okay, make sure you loot everything. Oh, there's still uh, enemies around that I cannot see. Oh, this guy. Okay. Let's try to go back downstairs and see what else we got here around. I believe we should be getting uh, an orc teleporter stone from some someone or something I just am not entirely sure which work was it from hmm we got an orcish talisman Let's see all right once you clear all the orcs in that area you're gonna come back down here to this orcish altar. I already uh, activated one. Uh, you have to activate all three of them. And then the summoning ritual works. And you summon a very, very powerful uh, orcish shaman that used to live here. And he's kind of hard to kill, honestly. He is kind of hard to kill. And the thing is, he, you have to talk to him, okay? So make sure you save before you do anything else. Uh, I might get killed here, but I'll try not to. He has a lot of HP. I will use the, I'll be using my bow, obviously. So for those that are melee, I cannot really recommend you anything what to do here because I have always ranged this guy. He has 20 HP, 
20k HP on easy mode. Go. And what we get is an orcish rune. And this is also a part of a quest of another plot in the orc city. But for now, we're just gonna use the orc teleport, which is gonna teleport us oh, to this special area behind uh, the wall. And the undeck orcs are gonna spawn here, obviously. There used to be a winch here in Gothic 1, but now they uh, disabled it, I guess. And we're gonna have more orcish undead, obviously. And that's the shadow form that was right here. That's the artifact of Hades. We're gonna go back to the. Uh, sorry. Teleport to Corinus and then to the Valley of Mines Pass. And we're going to return the artifact of Hades back to Demos. Here we go. And you get 5,000 experience for this. Now, for those that think that's not a lot, well, it adds up eventually. And you get quite a few things by um, completing these quests all the way to uh, chapter 4. I think chapter 4 is the final one. And for the last guardian for this part, which is part 2, is going to be near the monastery, which is right here on the bridge. And we're going to get Farion. Gonna give us a special quest about the benefit of death. This is a very weird one, but not so difficult. <laughs> you have to kill a paladin. Now, where is this paladin located? Um. So apparently, Guardian Fairy and all that. Sergius spends his time praying in us trying to save his soul. We must seek him in the monastery of the Fire Mages. First, we should probably talk to Murdoch. Oh, that's not Murdoch. Is it? Yeah, Marduk, not Murdoch. <laughs> uh, where is Paladin Sergio? He tells us where he is. And we're gonna go to the Black Troll. Uh, Hideout. Oh, hello. More, uh, more black goblins over here. Might as well get rid of them. And he's gonna be hiding in the uh, Test of Test of Faith cave. So if anybody has been doing uh, the Far Mages quest, then you know this is the area where you have to go to get your first rune. And Sergio is going to be here trying to save his own soul. But it's too late. It's been corrupted and... Uh... Fortunately, Sergio was not the main boss of this fight. He was Lord Sengath. And you get quite a bit of gold, Curse Gary Claymore, two elixirs of mana, and some other good goodies. We're gonna go back to the monastery, talk to Farius Farion. And this is basically it for part two of the Guardians. Well, not Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians that are pretending to be Guardians. They are actually uh, 
going to destroy the world using your help. But once you spoil their plan, spoilers, you will actually stop them in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something new. And uh, if you need any more help, as always, please write the comments down in the section below. For everything else, well, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.